okay guys, another uh, request test here. Um, somebody wanted me to pulse my outer coil and see what I get out of my rodent coil. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, again, I don't know the username who asked me to do this, but that's okay. Uh, it's for you and whoever else wants to see it. Uh, the results are kind of boring, but it's worth a shot because you never know what's going to happen. Uh, so right now I'm putting, what, um, seven, about seven bolts into the outer coil here um, at about, well, at 0.01 of an amp. Uh, right now I'm running at about 7 point, well, it's fluctuating, you can see it, that's kilohertz. 7.2 uh, and out of the rodent coil uh, these are in series out of that is about 9 volts I, I usually cannot I've been messing with it for a while whatever I put into it I usually don't get any more out of it <clears throat> it's like a one to one transformer um, it's kind of hard to see there but there's that meter what I'm putting in and this meter is what I'm getting out now what I found interesting is if I hook up this capacitor to the output of the uh, DC rectifier. This is all DC. I'm rectifying the output with this meter here is what I'm reading. If I connect this capacitor here, like so, I can get the voltage to climb up past what I'm putting into it. So I can kind of get more out than putting in as far as voltage is concerned. Um been kind of messing with the frequencies here see if I can get it to do it there you can see the yellow meters kind of climbing fluctuating it might be hard to see but <clears throat> I usually cannot get any more out than I put in now if I do hook up the capacitor it seems like the voltage on my input side goes down a little and it's not changing Let's try this. Well, I was at a different frequency, who knows. But basically, um, that's a test somebody wanted me to try. So if you guys got any more ideas, um, sure, let me know. Um, one day, I would like to make a coil where um, I've got these let me see here. I've got these coils. Um, and I would like to wrap a road in around this. And see what I get out. This is a number 30 gauge wire. So you can even see it. It's really small. You can compare it to what I got right now. Really tiny. But there's like thousands and thousands of wraps on here. So if I wrapped a you know, 20 gauge road in around here. Um, the results might be three or four times what what this is, although it is smaller, uh, which actually might be better. It might kind of uh, it's more of a donut, more of a torus, uh, where this is uh, not at all. So anyway, um, those are my thoughts. Any ideas? What you want me to do? Where you want me to go with this? I'll give it a shot. Um, I've seen some circuits. Some pulse motor circuits that I'd like to build. I'm working on those. Um, Got to get you know get everything together exactly what I need so that I'm good to go. Um, we'll go from there. I got other projects working on, and then I'll ponder about these ideas. And you guys give me ideas. We'll go from there. Peace out. See ya.